I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Hey guys, welcome back to Orion's Throne. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these devlogs, and the honest reason is I haven't really done much work on it. So how could I possibly make a devlog on things that I haven't done? But I'm proud to say that I have managed to find some time this week, so here's a little update on what's been going on. Firstly, um, I've made a weapons bending layout, so there'll be opportunities throughout the game if you're playing with the cowboy, where you can reach one of these vending machines, which are these little things right here. These sprites, which are the same as the normal vending machine, the coffee machine, a broken version of the normal vending machine, and this one here, which is the weapon one. So if you find one of these vending machines, you can interact with it and you can change your weapon. There are four weapons in the game that you'll be able to unlock. Each comes with a price tag, so you'll need to save up or accumulate your credits throughout the game in order to unlock them. The ammo system is going to be generic. So instead of having different ammo types that you can collect and then have to store those in their own variables, I'm just gonna make the ammo variable generic to all the weapons. So if you pick up any ammo pack, it will refuel your ammo for all of the four different weapon types, making it a little bit simpler, um, and you won't have to worry too much about running out of one ammo, then changing a gun just so you have ammo for that gun, if that makes sense. So if you've got ammo, whatever gun you have will work. Everything I've been working on this week takes place in the officer's lounge, which is through this door here. You'll need a key card to access it. The lever that I have in place here I still don't have a use for. I think it's going to reveal some kind of a secret passageway perhaps um, in the game, but again, I haven't put that in yet. Um, I've changed the look of this uh, little tank in here. It's got more of a top-down view, which I think fits the, the style of the, uh, the artwork better. Uh, and there's a little shout out to Foozle CC. Uh, there's something inscribed on the glass, Foozle Sample CC007. And then obviously you can come over to the vending machine, you can interact with it and you can select yes to change your equipped weapon. And here we go, you can cycle through the available options with the W, with, with the w with the A and B keys. So shotgun, plasma, SMG, and you can just buy ammo clips for five credits each if you're running low on ammo. You get a description at the bottom. At the moment, you can just buy them without having to worry about how many credits you have. I haven't programmed that element in yet. So if, for example, we choose the shotgun, it'll take you back to the level and you notice that the the visual icon that represents the ammo has changed to display shotgun bullets. The actual sprite of the bullet is changed to be more of a shotgun bullet type. Change it to the plasma gun. Again, you can see the visual element of the plasma ammo has changed and you can see that the bullet has changed. What these will eventually do is when they hit something, they're going to leave like a plasma kind of gooey residue behind. Uh, when they hit the wall or an enemy, but that's still coming up that I've got to put in. And then we got the SMG, which is bursts. So it fires out in bursts. And what I've done in the event sheet for this, I've just got this weapons vending layout linked to this event sheet. So they're totally separate to the game. They have their own global variables that are relevant to this event sheet in them. I've got a boolean set up for each of the additional weapons to determine whether or not you purchase them or not. And a weapon vending item number, which is representative of these background uh, boxes. So we can see which one is being highlighted. So when you push A and D, you can move the weapon vending number up and down. And then I've created a little bit of uh, code here which makes it cycle around between one and five and then that links up to the menu box which is the sprite so if the id of the menu box is the same as the item vending number then we just change the frame and i've shown you this before on the pause menu so if i just double click here it's just one sprite and one frame is a white kind of see-through color so you can identify which one you're highlighting over. And then the description box at the bottom will just change. It, it just says pistol now, but the text will change based on whatever item you've got. I've got a few events in here that determine whether we've selected the pistol, the shotgun, the plasma gun, or the SMG. And then that just changes the text. 
over each one to say whether it's owned or equipped. And then when we press E on any given weapon, depending on what weapon is selected, it will take us back to the officer's lounge because that's where we will be put, uh, that's the last place we will have been when we go to this specific layout and it will activate the cowboy controls and then select our generic global variable weapon selected to whatever weapon we've selected. And it really is as simple as that. Obviously when it's finished it will only let you pick those weapons if you have the amount of credits available and then it will subtract those credits from your total credits. And if you don't have enough then this box at the bottom is going to return an error message that says you don't have enough money to pay for it. And it's as simple as that and that's what we've got so far. Um, what I will show you quickly as well is on our cowboy event sheet I've added in different cooldown times so depending on the weapon that you've selected the weight function here 0.3 seconds 0.2 for SMG these are the cooldown times before you can shoot again so the SMG is going to be more rapid fire than say the shotgun which has a 0.6 second cooldown time so you're going to be able to fire faster with certain weapons than other weapons but the benefit of having a shotgun is, is a bigger bullet so it's going to have a bigger collision box which means you can do more damage with it hit more things with it um, and they're also going to have different levels of damage when they hit things. So if I go into my enemies, for example, when we hit the drone, if the weapon selected is the pistol, it's going to subtract one from the drone's HP, but if the weapon is shotgun, it's going to subtract three. So you're going to see that although it's a slower weapon, it's going to do more damage, whereas the faster weapons do less damage. So you're going to be able to strategize and pick whichever kind of weapon type suits your playstyle. That's about all there is to say for this video. Uh, stay tuned, there will be more updates coming in the future. Before we finish though, just a massive shout out to my wonderful Patreon supporters. James Welch, Basic Terror, Cole, Tomorrow Alex Exan, Retro Galaxy, Clone 13, Fuzzle CC, Space Spy, and Fan Van. Thanks you guys for supporting my games of journey. I do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the benefits of being a Patreon. And until the next episode, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then.